Hi, my name is Officer Campos, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Do you have any questions before we begin your interview today? Okay. Now we will place you under oath. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can you show me your ID, your passports, and your permanent resident card, along with your appointment letter? Okay, you can put them away now. Is there anything that you need to update on your application? What is your full legal name? What changes are you going to make to your name? What other names have you used in the past? When did you become a permanent resident? How did you become a permanent resident? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? What is your date of birth? Where were you born? What is your social security number? How tall are you and how much do you weigh? What is your address? What is your previous address? How long have you lived at your current address? What is your marital status? How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? What is your spouse's name? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? How many children do you have? Give me one moment. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. Okay, let's continue. Are you the biological parent of your children? Where do you work? How long have you worked there? When was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to?
And how long was this trip for? What date did you come back? How many times have you traveled out of the United States in the last five years? How many days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Why does the flag have 13 stripes? What is the political party of the president now? Why did the colonists fight the British? Who vetoes bills? What does the Constitution do? Name two national U.S. holidays. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Please read the following sentence. Now please write the following sentence. Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Now please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with, the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, or a terrorist organization? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No to all of them? Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, 
detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard, been a prostitute, or procured anyone for prostitution, sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics, been married to more than one person at the same time, married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit, helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally, gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling, failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? You have approved your citizenship interview. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.